Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at... anything? Tower. Just where did Clarissa hobble off to? Let's talk to Ren and Nona before we try and find her, cause... But I don't know, maybe they know something we don't. coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's... I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she, like, freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street. Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. When did you take a second one? How many do you even have? I ate it just before you came. And I have more than a couple. It's no big deal. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like... It was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll... It'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down... You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... That's not nice. Oh, God... This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like... I don't know. What won't work? The, uh, radio? It, like, works, but... 
Uh, sorry I was like weird earlier, but hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. To tell you the truth, Nona, I don't think you really want to know. Alex, don't treat me like a pet. It's okay. The blue- Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's Friend, not. Friend, what? <sighs> you could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. It. I'm sorry. But I've been, like, stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I like to... Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm so worried about Clarissa. Wait, set fire to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean... We all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Ren, it's okay. Relax. I like the plan. The plan's fine. We'll all... It doesn't matter if the plan is fine. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy? He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You have no idea if there's Guys, a... stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like, you know, I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't, you shouldn't go alone. We don't need like three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Ugh, you... Stop it! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why this are you making me shack up with it's this guy? It's my friggin' plan! We've been plan. together the entire... Why? <laughs> this is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is... it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Uh. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. No hard feelings, right? I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Now, don't get depressed and eat any more brownies, okay? I still need you tip-top, all right? Good luck with the thing, Alex.
You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention. And if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So... Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class... What are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. Oh.
So it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, I just hope Ren's not misremembering his sister's job or something. There. What are you doing? She's alive. You're, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you? Can you hear me? Alex, do you know what's happening? Is she? Is she gonna be okay? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh, Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. Elise, please, somehow. Clarissa, can you come down? Ugh, she just looks awful. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you, do you realize that? You saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new step... You're not blaming me for this, Clarissa. This is, this is so outside of logic, of reason, of anything that could possibly be anticipated. It's really not her fault, Clarissa. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead and a giant lit up 
Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, Carissa, you... just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Ugh. She is a pox, Jonas. Ugh, you are completely insane! It's like all those after-school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters. We're all secretly talking about you! Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. She Seriously, enough. Nona, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the Alex and free. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Yes, I have gotten and presumably will continue to get deja vu. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like cold mouse feet on your skin or something. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through. Honestly, the lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. <sighs> hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think think, but it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So, they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate. Really? How does it work? Like, you just tune into the signal at one of the lock boxes, and you're in. I think. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. Whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What? What is that? Who? Who's it for? To whom it should concern. It says right here, I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk forces outside her control. Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside you'll find two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> Wait. Wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. 
And truly for the interest of time itself, Margaret Adler. Yeah, there's no way I'm going back all over the island to find Maggie's long-lost journal entries or jarred pickles or whatever is buried out there. Yeah, no, maybe next time. Or never. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. We just got here. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> 
Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa? Or... I guess I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It's alright. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. It doesn't matter, Clarissa. Do what you want. No, it does matter. It does matter. I want you to feel good about the situation, you know? I, I want this to be good. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So, apparently, you love me. Is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not one for subtlety. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I... I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with... Princess, but... It's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night, and board game night, <laughs> all the nights. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're... you're not there. Well, sometimes I'm there. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so... Thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's... Okay, Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday. So, that's what I see in her. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God, do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay. I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex? Are you... Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... Was it like a... I don't... I don't know what to call it. A vision? I was... Uh, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now?
Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. Some... <sighs> Weird stuff happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. Weird stuff? And we can't find Clarissa, so... she pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Santa, Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, turn on the Lima, Tango. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, 
turn on the Turn on the Lima. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima. India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, Where are you going? India, I thought we... Golf, aren't we sticking to the, hotel, the find the boat and paddle Tango, away game plan? Yeah. Home. I guess we're Turn just on, on your the plan then. Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on... Turn on the Lima, India, Golf. Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima. India Golf Hotel. Turn on the
And then we'll go and see the girls, yes? Yes. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please. Jesus, that house is huge! That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B was... The keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. I thought maybe I imagined it was locked, but no. Well, you do have the key right there. It's the radio. Just tune it a little. It'll open like the gate. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? 
The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot Okay, we of... get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Probably just tidy. It's not like the Ark of the Covenants in here. Hey, you never know. She was old enough. Have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. What do I know? Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Well, maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. How are you doing? How are you doing? Look, Jonas, are we, like, okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. <sighs> I'm not gonna pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to, like... Tonight has been bad enough. I'm not gonna crab about that. I mean, are you, like, mad at me or something? No, no, we're... I wanna be okay with you. I just... If we keep at each other's throats, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the night. Me neither. So let's just not be at each other's throats anymore. There. See? Easy.
Uh, Put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? You kids better than... Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. something in here just looks like vacation slides or something find anything useful not yet but you know the night is young how's the um nona stuff going what do you care like seriously why didn't you let me go with you to main street did i do something that bad i just don't get it okay i'm sorry i just thought you needed a breather i mean Seriously, an hour earlier, you were, like, possessed and freaking out. Okay, that is true, I guess, but still, it was annoying. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that. Popsicle stand. It does make sense. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not listening to this, all right? I'm not playing along anymore. Oh, just come down, and we'll drink to our future. <laughs> come down, okay? It'll be all right, I promise. <laughs> Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes... Nona! Are you okay? Wait, wake up! Ren, come on! We got a boat to catch, buddy! Come on! 
on, Jonas. I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Why are you doing this? I thought you... You guys were stuck here, or, or that this wasn't... You signed up for this, Alexandra. possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. Don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something with you, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as, as your mother's, mother's apple pie. pie. And what if I... What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's, it's your choice. choice. Now, let's, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So... Ten... Nine... Eight... Seven. Is it... Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models have been the X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. In another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Disappointment you've turned out to be. Don't just just stop, please. Don't do anything to him. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Bring him back. Right now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. He has no. Five little ducks, ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. Mommy duck called a quack, quack, quack. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not, not an eternal, eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use our friends to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed.
he should go out on his own. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Clarissa? No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. She, uh, tried, kinda. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plane has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Or we could just... leave? What? Seriously? We can't just leave? Yeah, I mean, I know she can be like the girl equivalent. Oh, come on! The boat's right there! Remember the old plan? Take this gift of freedom and french fries? Nobody ever said Alex, that. Alex, no. We can't leave. Not without all of us. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. Alright, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait... Is it a Fippany? It's, uh... Moving on... There's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Yeah, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But how do we get in? Isn't that a pretty fundamental flaw here? Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... That's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. All right. Hit the button. Let's keep it moving, Alex. Um, we're kind of on a roll with useful information, so... Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait, this is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a-clickin'. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part, 
You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Same here. I don't want to know nothing. 